Hey, Tony, fuck them. You lying fucking liar. Line. Of course, uh, her caught in a line. The main narrative from her's report is that Biden can't remember shit. Can't remember shit. I don't know how many people have moved from house to house before. Have you ever moved? Like packed up your shit and moved to one house and then packed up your shit again and moved to another house years later? You ever done that? I have. I still have fucking boxes in my basement. I don't even know what the fuck is in those some bitches. And I have moved them three goddamn times. Three. Three times, and I don't know what is inside the motherfuckers. Couldn't tell you. Honestly, if I looked through them, I'd be like, I still don't know that this shit is even mine. I have no idea how the fuck this get in my fucking basement. The idea... That Joe Biden didn't pack up the boxes because the evidence shows that he did not pack those boxes. He did not take those boxes to his house and put them in his garage or in the offices. They were packed up for him and put in places for him. And the idea that he is supposed to remember (laughs) the thing that qualifies him to be president is that he is supposed to remember what is in every single box in his house. And I mean, have a strict inventory is fucking ridiculous. I mean, it's not, it's laughable at best. That we believe that somehow a Democratic president should be fucking superhuman, right? When pressed with, when pressed with accountability. But when a Republican, any politician, not just the president, but any Republican politician is pressed with accountability, and they don't need any accountability at all. I mean, you remember when Marjorie Taylor Greene sat for testimony for hours on end in Georgia to try to get back on the ballot because she's an insurrectionist, which she did. She couldn't recall a fucking thing. Not a fucking thing. Fuck. Donald Trump can't even remember his goddamn wife's name or her her son's name. I don't know if it's his son, to be quite honest with you. I don't know if Barron's his son. I mean, people are saying that it's probably some other person. He's really tall. He doesn't look like Trump. So, I mean, it's possible Melania was fucking someone else. I mean, he was fucking someone else at the time she was pregnant. So why would we assume that she wasn't fucking someone else? <laughs> I remember that. You remember that? Donald Trump can't remember what his fucking second wife looks like in pictures. He confused E. Jean Carroll with his second wife, Marla Maples. He definitely, he definitely knows, he definitely knows that his daughter's tits are nice, though. Ah, and he definitely wants to fuck his daughter. He remembers that shit. Prosecute, special prosecutor, her uh, objective here is not is not to either prosecute Biden or to prosecute Biden. Of course, that was his job as as special counsel, right? But today, in his remarks and in his testimony to Congress, which doesn't happen, folks, it does. This doesn't happen. This only happens when Republicans are in control of cock committees, and they're trying to impeach Joe Biden with actu- without actually impeaching him. And they're making it worse on themselves. Like, this is a huge rake that they're j- throwing out to jump on. And the r- one reason why is because the main through line here and the main narrative is, is because Joe Biden had documents in his house, that makes him a criminal. And like, yeah, okay, well, what about this other guy? Well, he was president. Donald Trump was not president when the motherfucker was moving around boxes. We heard that from his employee at Mar-a-Lago last night on CNN. And of course, this is all fucking political theater. Doesn't this seem convenient that last night, last night, the fucking bombshells drop on Donald Trump like truth bombs. Where the employee at Mar-a-Lago says, yeah, the motherfucker is moving around fucking boxes. Yeah, he was trying to obstruct justice. Yeah, he's a fucking criminal. And no, I wouldn't want to be within 10 feet of that son of a bitch. Not anymore. Fuck him. Apparently, this employee was really close friends for decades with Carlos. Carlos. The guy who flipped on Trump. I don't know if you know that. He got criminally charged. Because he wasn't cooperating. 
because Trump was twisting his arm. Let's just fucking face it here. Let's stop acting like and saying allegedly and all that bullshit. Donald Trump stole documents for several different reasons. Number one, to sell them. Okay. He fucking needs money. He needs money. He was, he's been going around sucking people's dicks to get $90 million bonds. Okay. Oh, I, I 100% believe that it is the truth that Donald Trump is sucking cock to get fucking bonds so that he can pay E. Jean Carroll. Prove me fucking wrong. Send me a C and D, bitch, and we'll get to the bottom of it. Or to the back of the throat of it. Whichever you want to do, motherfucker. He's fucking broke. He's fucking broke. The guy, not only is he not a fucking billionaire... He, he doesn't have any money. He owes more money than he even fucking thinks he has. He's fucking broke. He needs money. He needs money. So he stole those fucking documents to sell the secrets, to sell them. Number two, he stole the documents to cover up his fucking coup attempt. Number two, it was a coup attempt, and he's trying to cover it up that he fucking lost, and he knows he fucking lost, and he tried to attempt a coup on our fucking government of the United States and strip away our vote. Two, number three. Number three, he is trying to, he is absolutely, and I believe that he carried the classified documents to Bettminster to put them in the casket with that ex-wife of his that he fucking buried in a goddamn ditch on his golf course. That's where she's buried, is right next to a fucking ditch. She's buried in a fucking ditch on his goddamn golf course. And I believe that he put the documents that prove that the dos the steel dossier is true and the P-tapes exist in that casket. We need to stop fucking beating around the bush here. This is all fucking ridiculous nonsense. To act like Joe Biden, because he doesn't remember certain things, get the fuck out of here. And then the main thrust of Hearst report is that Joe Biden didn't remember when his fucking son died. You despicable piece of shit. Not only does Joe Biden fucking remember, it's in the goddamn transcripts. It's in the fuck. Hey, her. Hey, her. It's no wonder why you quit the DOJ yesterday and you're testifying to your lies under oath and you probably are perjuring yourself on the stand. It ain't no wonder why you quit your fucking job because you'd be fired. And Merrick Garland should strip her of his fucking retirement. Every last bit of it. They did it. They did it to, to, to watch his fucking dick. The deputy FBI director. Trump did it. Strip him of his fucking retirement benefits. No benefits for you, bitch. They can't jail him because he was a special counsel. Yeah, I know you want me to say they should put him in jail, but they can't. That would be beyond reality. And I don't do beyond reality here. <laughs> I do what is what is realistic and what can be proven. Or at least what we should prove. And I want to know. I want to know. Dig her the fuck up. Dig her up. Dig her up. Dig her up. Fucking chant it. With cowbells and whistles for fuck's sake. There was like eight, nine, ten fucking pallbearers at his first wife's funeral where he where he, he fucking drug her casket to a ditch at Bettminster and threw her in a fucking hole and threw some dirt on her in a ditch. You know, that's the story of Donald Trump, really. That's the story of Donald Trump. And the Republicans and all his fucking sheep-ass, megalodite, Cheeto-humping, fuck-nugget supporters are all going to learn that in, in, in due time. Oh, absolutely. Donald Trump is going to be convicted of fucking crimes. I don't know exactly how we incarcerate him, but he's definitely going to be eventually incarcerated. It's not going to happen before the election, okay? So just, you know, fucking get used to that shit. Get used to the fact that he's not going to go to trial before the election. Yes, like I said the other day, the Manhattan trial is going to be delayed. Bet on it. Bet on it, bitch. But after the election, after he loses and he's whining and bitching and pissing and moaning, and Joe Biden is sworn in as the president again, 
on January 20th, 2025. And we finally get on with the fucking motions of government because more than likely Joe Biden is going to have a Democratic Senate and a Democratic House. Hopefully we'll have almost 15 seats in the House to work with here to actually get some shit done for the American people. Besides fucking questioning a special counsel that put out some bullshit report that you can read with your fucking eyes, Comer Pyle, that motherfucker hadn't even read, read the son of a bitch was asking un questions that had nothing to do with information that was in the in the fucking document this morning because he hasn't read it. But that's going to be the story of Donald Trump. Eventually, he's going to be convicted. And I don't know exactly how they carse, incarcerate him. I don't know how they incarcerate a former president. We never fucking had to do that shit before because we never elected such a fucking shit box to run our country before. Nor have we reconsidered to try to re-elect re the son of a fucking bitch to run our country either. Never in the history of ever have we done this shit. And it's only because of fucking bunch of brainless idiots out there. Mega zombies. Are running around with their heads up their ass. That don't understand that the fucking Biden case with the documents is completely fucking different than the case with Trump. And the reason why, boneheads, the reason why, boneheads, is it's not the documents that's the crime. Fucking idiot. The documents aren't the fucking crime. It's the obstruction, you fucking bonehead. It's the trying to sell the documents. It's lying about the fucking documents. It's moving them motherfuckers around to a, to to make sure that the authorities can't get their fucking hands on him because he's trying to hide them or sell them. Doubt me. Fucking doubt me. Go ahead. Do it. Fine. Whatever you want to do. Oh, but Tony, Judge Cannon stands in, in their way. No, she doesn't. She can stall and pussyfoot around and do stupid shit like leak witness list. But she can't stop the prosecution. She can't undo the indictment. And the reason why is because there's valid evidence for the indictment. A federal judge does have a lot of power. A lot. A lot of fucking power. But they don't have the power just to ignore facts that are presented before them of obstruction. And last night, you've seen now the interview. I hope that you watch part of this interview. With this uh, Mar-a-Lago employee, the Mar-a-Lago employee number five. Bop, 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 bop. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody. <laughs> you remember that song? What was that? Is it singing? Mambo number five. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. <sighs> it's like counting felonies. You know what I mean? <laughs> But I know everyone's going to be totally upset about the, the fucking hearing today. And they're going to make bones about it and act like, ah, Joe Biden doesn't know shit, blah, blah, blah. But this morning, Joe Biden did a press conference about the goddamn hearing and about the goddamn report. He did. And he said, look, you can fucking say whatever you want, but I don't remember some of the shit. You don't remember everything either. Humans aren't designed to remember everything, nor are they designed to remember everything with a picture, picture perfect quality either. It's actually one of the, you know, downfalls to witness testimony. One of the huge downfalls to witness testimony. But in this moment, in this time, we need to stay focused. And to stay focused means that we need to know the threat. And obviously, the threat is not Donald Trump or Republicans. Otherwise, they wouldn't be trying to spin the narrative that someone possessing classified documents automatically means that you go to jail. Because if that's the case, a lot of Republicans are completely fucked, including Mike Pence. Forget all about that. God damn it. Haven't heard his name in for ages, have you? And uh, since the last time they wanted to hang the son of a bitch. Not me, them. I I mean, I'm willing to let natural the nature take its course on Mike Pence. <laughs> I don't know. 
You've seen what hatred does to a person. Mike Pence is like my age, and he's got white hair. <laughs> uh, anyways. <clears throat> so let's get down to the nitty-gritty on this Mar-a-Lago thing. Because that's the real story this morning, not the fucking her testimony. I mean, yeah, that's how I bait you in, right? I mean, I got to give you a little bit of the Trump crack. I got to give you a little bit of the Trump crack. And everyone's talking about the hurt testimony today. Hell, they're carrying on TV. They got it on fucking TV. Everyone's super excited about it. I, I know the people in the audience here are excited about seeing this. I mean, I am excited about the rakes that they're going to step on because they've already stepped on several this morning. And really, they're they're bound to throw out bear traps. But last night, the... The clips from this interview that I'm going to show you where this guy's like, not only is Donald Trump a goddamn criminal, I wouldn't even go meet with him when he summons me. I think that's probably the most significant part of the interview last night. I mean, there's a lot about the crime and the moving of the boxes and the obstruction and how they were really trying to make sure that the authorities didn't know that Donald Trump had these documents or wanted to keep these documents because he was either selling them, which he was. He was selling them. He was fu he's fucking selling them. He's fucking selling them. You cannot fucking convince me that Jared Kushner, when he went to the World Cup with and met Elon Musk with the Saudis, didn't have a goddamn zip drive in his fucking pocket with pictures of classified documents on it. You cannot convince me. I don't give a shit what you do, what you say. There's no way you can convince me of anything besides that. You got to show me the proof that it didn't happen. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. What do I care? What do I give a fuck at this point? They make up all kinds of shit. It's reasonable to believe that Jared Kushner, for $2 billion, remember that? $2 billion from the Saudis? He had to deliver something. It'd be real easy to deliver something on a little flash drive. Flash drive will hold all kinds of fucking pictures. All kinds of PDF files. Jesus Christ, you know, and... In, in, in a comparison, how small a PDF file is anymore. I mean, it used to be, you know, you'd have to carry out a whole case of fucking three and a half floppy disk. Now you just carry something that's the fucking smaller than a pack of gum. Do you remember what a pack of gum looks like? Like the old kind, like the big red. <laughs> You carry a shitload of classified documents, PDF files that were taken, scans that were taken of classified documents at Mar-a-Lago before they were packed back in boxes and taken back to Bedminster, apparently. That's the fucking, that's not only the testimony, that's not only the evidence in the court documents, but that's what the goddamn Mambo Number no. 5 guy is saying. That's what I'm going to call him, Mambo Number no. 5. One. Two, three, four, five, everybody in the car. I don't know. What are the lyrics? I don't know what the lyrics are. It's been such a long time since I heard that song. Hmm. <clears throat> Anywho, <laughs> you listen, you cannot convince me that Jared Kushner did not sell something to the Saudis for $2 billion. The Saudis just didn't hand Jared Kushner money. A two, two billion. Listen to me. Billion with a fucking B. I'm not talking about Trump sucking some CEO dude off, sucking some dude's dick to get a $90 million bond. That's not what I'm talking about. And then going out and bragging that he put up a $90 billion bond. Trump didn't put up a $90 million bond. He ain't got $90 million. He had to suck someone's dick that's got $90 million to put it up for him. You cannot convince me that Donald Trump did not get on his knees and put some, listen, I'm the dick taster. I'll do anything for a $90 million bond. Just one day, just one day I'll do it. But if you give me $90 million, oh, and then you can own my presidency. I'm telling you, I'll do anything from you once I become dick taster for that one day. I'll do anything for $90 million, anything. You don't think, and listen, if he did not suck someone's dick, then they own him full stop. I don't know if you know how quid pro quo works, right? Do you know how it works? This is really simple. This is easy. You do something for me, I'll do something for you. You know, you do the thing for me and I'll do the thing for you. 
I mean, he, he either did something or is going to do something when he becomes something, right? How is this not a national security threat, by the way? And how in the fuck are we sitting here talking about some report that exonerates Joe Biden? from any wrongdoing with with a few classified documents that someone else packed in a box and someone else took to his house. Yeah, I know. It feels like Joe Biden is blaming his staff, but that's not what he said this morning. This morning, Joe Biden said this, look, if I had to do it differently, I would have been more accountable for my staff. They obviously were not were not informed on how to handle these documents, and I should have been responsible and should have been there to help them do it. He wasn't he wasn't pushing the responsibility. He was saying the responsibility is his. And that's where he failed. He failed his staff. Which in turn, he failed the nation because he had some documents that were placed in certain places where they shouldn't have been. But it's not a crime. And I know the Republicans want to make it a crime. But if it's a crime for Joe Biden, it's a crime for Trump. And they're like, no, but he was president. He wasn't president at Mar-a-Lago. You stupid fuck. After January 20th, 2021, Donald Trump was no longer the president. Wasn't. Couldn't be. And the reason why is because he fucking lost because he's a fucking loser. So, yeah, he was just an or ordinary, average. Uh, he's kind of he's not average. He's really fucking fat. He's fat and he smells. So I wouldn't really call him an average citizen. <laughs> Ugh. Average citizens would be fucking appalled that I would compare them to that fat fucking slob. But Donald Trump was not the president when he was moving around boxes and putting them on planes and directing his staff to move around boxes. Because that's the thing you're going to hear, right? That's the thing you're going to hear from Republicans. Is this story about Joe Biden, how he's the one, even though his staff packed him up and moved the boxes, he's responsible. He should go to jail. I mean, they couldn't make the Hunter Biden cock stuff stick. So they're thinking they can make this documents thing stick. Go for it. Good luck. Do it. Do it, bitch. Try it. Go. Do impeach him. Impeach him. Impeach him. It's really, it's going to be really fucking rich when they try to spin that narrative when we find out that Donald Trump is going to say the same thing. Donald Trump is definitely going to blame the people at Mar Lago, his employees, that they were packing boxes and moving po boxes without his knowledge. I had no idea. I had no idea they were moving around classified documents. I had no clue they were moving from room to room to hide them from the FBI, even though they have no motive. And that's the other narrative that is poking its fucking little head out like a little turd at a Comer Pyle's ass this morning. Is that Joe Biden, not only not only when they when they figured out that there was classified documents at his house, they're like, all right, come search my shit. They took all his personal shit, all his personal shit, right? And he did it willingly. They let him search the office, um, the 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 college, his residence in Delaware. Fuck, he probably gave him a joyride round in the Corvette because that's just had the decency that Joe Biden has. You know what I mean? I mean, they had to pull the Corvette out of the garage to take the pictures. So, I mean, they definitely got a joyride in the Corvette. No fucking doubt about it because he's a decent son of a bitch. Listen, you don't go come to my house and search my house and see my Corvette without you taking a spin around in the driveway in it. Okay, that's how it's going to be. I'm a decent bastard. Okay. <laughs> I bet Trump didn't give him a fucking a little joy ride in his Corvette. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because Trump doesn't own such a cool fucking car because Trump isn't cool. That's why. That's why. Listen, <laughs> it is fucking cool as shit that Joe Biden has a has a Corvette that he's owned for years sitting in his garage. Do you know how fucking cool that is? That's like average American type cool. Not I have a private plane because I pretend to be a billionaire. That's not average American style cool. It used to be we would look at those people and fucking hate those motherfuckers. Hate those motherfuckers that you would flaunt around your fucking money like that. You fucking piece of shit. When did what does this world come to? Huh? What does it come to that we that 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 having a Corvette in your in your garage 
isn't the coolest fucking thing ever. And I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't care how you spin it, what you want to do, because I'm not a bro dude anymore. I just don't like the bro stuff. Men are such fucking scumbags. They're fucking assholes. All right. But there is nothing cooler than Joe, Joe Biden owning a Corvette. And I can't wait for the Corvette commercials to drop because they're coming because it's cool. And America still thinks that shit's cool. Oh, by the way, the Corvette is an American made vehicle. It's an American made piece of steel, by the way, if you want to doubt Joe Biden's patriotism. Where was I going with this? Oh, yeah. Trump is a piece of shit. <laughs> that's where I was going with it. But of course, the narrative that's going to come out of this committee, right? And 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 the, the little narrative is going to pop its head out like a little turd at a Comer Pyle's ass. You know, when you get that prairie dog going on and you know that Comer Pyle gets it going on all the time. Because you know, you know that Comer Pyle is always eating McDonald's and KFC to be just like Trump. Hundo percento. Comer Pyle can't wait to get him get himself a Big Mac to be just like his big daddy Trump. But the narrative that is really coming out of it, that's poking its head out, is that Joe Biden didn't obstruct justice at all. Not only that, Joe Biden sat down for a five-hour interview. Five hours. That's where this transcript comes from. That's where her is a fucking liar because the transcripts of the five-hour interview exist. And Joe Biden did remember Bo Biden's death. You fucking vile piece of trash her. That right there is enough to put her in the history books as a piece of Republican shit. Disparaging the memory of his son by lying about the transcript when you ask him. It's not surprising that these Republicans are pieces of trash. Fuck. A nominated, a adjudicated rapist. A fucking classified document seller. A traitor. A treasonous piece of fat trash. Fuck him and fuck every single one of them. Fuck them. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with some of these clips right after this. <laughs> 